Hello, this is Deborah with Black Education TV. Okay, I said that I wanted to do this video in which I'm going to attempt to talk about what I believe is happening here in this country because something very strange and odd is happening as it relates to all of these incidents that we are seeing played out in the media. There seems to be a huge push towards a racial divide, okay? Now, I do know that this racial divide has always existed and it was prophesied. But I see something strange happening here. We, none of us can deny that something strange is happening. Let me tell you what I mean. I'm going to talk about these incidents that are popping up where folk are just calling the police on black people for just minute things. I mean, um, the Starbucks incident, the um, gym incident, the golfing incident, the Waffle House. I mean, just countless incidents, even those that are not even mentioned, you see. And even previous incidents where uh, they're putting monkey suits on black children and uh, putting uh, hero suits or resourceful suits on white children, you see. There seems to be a media push towards all of the racial divide, right? Um, a lot of these stories are meant to inflame um, the black community. Um, I do believe that they should be um, talked about or reported on, but I think it should be equally reported on when things are happening to other groups as well. And the reason why I say this is because we do know that there are police incidents involving um, other racial groups as well, but when there's all of this focus on what they are doing to us, don't get me wrong, family, don't get me wrong. Some of you may already be thinking, oh, what, what is she talking about? Well, when you put all this focus on these things as it relates to our people, and we are watching this, and it, it sparks all of these emotions. I look at some of the comments sometimes when I talk about certain things, right? And what I witness or what I notice is that our people get really emotional and angry and upset and rightfully so. But when you are spewing off certain things in the comment section, your name and IP address is attached to it. You're talking about what you wish could happen to the people that are perpetrators. You're talking about what you would do if you were in these circumstances and what should happen and um, all of these things. It's counterproductive because it's not hurting them at all. But what it is doing, it is making us as a people appear to be unbalanced, appear to be uh, violent because of what is being played on the, or, or what, what is being displayed on the internet. It is showing um, the world that our only voice is to say what we would do in a comment section because we are powerless to do anything real. You see, and so you say all these things in the comment section because you are angry and rightfully so. And when you direct your anger in this way, believe this, that it is being watched and it is being noted. And so when you make all of these violent, um, I'm not going to say threats. But you speak these words of violence, knowing that you're not going to do anything. You're just going to say it in the keyboards. I understand the anger and the frustration that you may feel. But you have to understand that buttons are being pushed. Because they want to pull out these emotions. I think there's a way to discuss these things in a productive way. But when you, again, go off talking about all of these things that you wish you could do or what you would do, and you know, and they know that most of these are just words that you're not going to do anything, you see, but they are using it to record and leverage their responses and feel justified in their responses against us to say that, oh, those, those people are just so violent when Every racial group has violence, hatred, bitterness, malice, strife. But the hypocrites want to point out what you do. I want to take another example of the Hebrew Israelites. Something else that I think is very strange is how they get on the street corners 
this this is something that I've seen many others talk about too. It makes you wonder if some of these people are set up to do what they're doing to make this awakening appear false, to tarnish the awakening. What these people do, they get on the, the street corners and they are on the camera spewing out what they're going to do to other people, to other nations. Powerless to do anything at all, they're talking about what they're going to do. And we're talking hideous things. And they are misquoting scripture, misrepresenting scripture, misrepresenting the Most High. And it goes unchallenged. The police don't say anything to them. They don't approach them. And it all seems very, very fake and fictitious when you consider the fact that young people who are unarmed are being killed by police for much less than the threats coming out of the mouths of some of these Hebrew Israelites. I mean, they're talking about violent things that they would do to these other nations. Nothing is happening. I've even, I've even seen them strike some of these people. Nothing is happening. Police are doing nothing. But you have a young person who is unarmed, fleeing for their life, shot in the back, beat down, killed, tased, for much less. I find that very strange and odd, as if these people are set up to do what they're doing to tarnish the awakening. Now, another thing I wanted to talk about is the incidents that we are seeing especially the one with, at the college dorm where the Ph.D. student, a uh, black woman, young woman who's very articulate, very beautiful, very smart, taking a nap in a common area. Now, apparently there are rules against things such as taking a nap in the common areas, but it's not one of those things that you should call the police on. But what I feel like is happening, I feel like these incidents of people calling the police on very minute things. Oh, they're driving too slow on the golf course, or they're doing this or doing that. These police incidents where they're being called and used as private bouncers, it seems as though, and I'm not saying that this is the case or that it's the case for all of them, but it seems like there has been a, either a spirit released into the air to stir up people and cause them to make these calls and do these things to further create racial tension or that these things too are staged. And so many of you have put it very, very um, clearly that these things do appear to be a distraction. I'm starting to feel like they are a distraction as well. Not saying that they shouldn't be talked about because we need to see the mind manipulation and understand it for what it is. But I'm really starting to wonder because some of these things just don't seem real or realistic. They seem like they were put in place intentionally um, to create a certain atmosphere, to have certain things um, play out in the minds of citizens here in the U.S. and in countries abroad like there's an atmosphere that's being created, an environment that's being created so that they can carry out something that they have planned that's far greater than anything any of us can imagine. All of these strange occurrences where you have Becky just calling on some black woman or calling because some guys are legally barbecuing in a public park, but Becky just goes out of her mind and can't take it and calls the police. These situations are causing a true racial divide that's further dividing what was already a divided country. And we have got to see this stuff for what it is and determine how to deal with these situations a lot differently. Because all the keyboard warrior stuff that we do, talking about what we're gonna do, how we would handle, handle things and all of this different stuff is counterproductive, is not helping anything. What we need to do is we need a real solution or real solutions as to how to deal with this witchcraft or this sorcery that's being put out there in the air and causing people to do things or go along with evil, wicked plans that are causing 
all types of racial stress, all types of racial problems, we need to figure out and understand what is taking place and deal with these things accordingly. Using wisdom, not using our flesh or our um, emotions, but using wisdom to try to figure these things out. What is really happening? That's what we need to determine. What is really happening? Should we respond the way that we do? Should we reserve our comments on some of these things or at least tone them down and give a more mature response so that we're not giving them what they want? It sounds as though, or it seems as though, they are trying to pull out these responses in us for a reason. And I'm talking about people of all races. Maybe we should resist that and come up with something a lot more mature because the Bible talks about the sorcery that is, take, that is taking place. And we've got to see it and recognize it and identify it for what it is. All right, family, I'm out.